Welcome to another video of Simplex. In this video, we'll see how we can install the stable diffusion using the model that we generated. This model you can see here, this model is already uh, available here inside the Stoop Stable Diffusion Ways. And this was the folder where the model is available. So step by step video is already available where I have explained how you can make this particular model based on these images. And now this model is ready to be used. So we'll go to Stable Diffusion Web UI. And if you see here, Automatic 1111, this is uh, the Stable Diffusion Web UI. In my case, Python and Git both are already installed. So I'll be cloning that particular repository into my local drive here. And here is repo. I'll use the command called git clone. And here is the stable diffusion git. And I'll be saving it to stable dash diffusion. So you can see a stable diffusion is created. CD space stable dash diffusion. And here uh, the stable diffusion folder is there. So if I see in this directory, there are various files. So I'll open first of all stable diffusion. So if you see here, this is stable diffusion. And inside stable diffusion, if you go into models and inside models, you will go to stable diffusion and you will put your stable diffusion model over here. So if I go to that downloads folder again, so if you see the download folder here, here is my downloaded file. So I'll just simply cut this from here and paste it into stable diffusion model here so this is my model and dot ckpt which was 2 gb which we downloaded from google drive and now this particular model is already available here and then i'll just go here and start installing it web ui and dash user so this is the that file which it will run automatically so i'll enter this it will now start installing the web ui here for stable diffusion. So the process is going to take time. So we'll wait for this process to complete. Now you can see here that it is now running on localhost 7860. So I'll be just opening here in localhost 7860. And here was stable diffusion. And this was the model that we downloaded from our Google Drive. So now I'll be using my own image here. So I'll add Angular person and then it will be in the real image. I will see how it generates. So it has generated this image here. I can use wearing goggles. And here laser type. So this only. Now oh, in Huggies website, I showed you that uh, the project which I we signed up earlier and that we have uh, various prompts. And another is uh, lexica.art, a stable diffusion search engine. Based on these uh, images, you can see here there are various images which are already there. Of course, this is the image of Bill Gates. So I'll be copying this prompt here and I'll paste it to Amjad Ali. So here you can see. So this was all about using stable diffusion and creating the model. And based on that model, you can generate the images based on whatever ideas you have. If you have any comments or feedback, please don't forget to mention that in the comment section. We will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.